Hey, what's up guys? Fabio here once again, and I want to welcome everybody back to another video. And today I'm coming at you with another paid request, this time from Yule. Um, he wanted me to take a look at a couple of Hong Kong action films, so got pretty excited about that, number one, because it's Hong Kong action, and number two, the first one that he wanted me to review is a Jet Li movie, which I had never seen before, which is Hitman, or is it, no, I can't talk, or as it's known here, here in America as Contract Killer. So, again, number one, Hong Kong action. Obviously, one of my favorite genres. Number two, a Jet Li movie that I had never seen before. And I was very pleasantly surprised by this movie. I thought it was going to be one thing, and it ended up being another, and it ended up exceeding my expectations, and I really enjoyed it. And we're here to talk all about that today. But before I go any further, if anyone would like to help contribute to the channel by sending in a paid request such as this, you may do so down below in the description box there is a link to my paypal account now no amount is too big no amount is too small it does not have to be just a movie review it could be a tv series cartoon comic book video game music random thoughts rants streams commentaries and anything in between that's what it's there for so again if you are interested go ahead send it in and i will get to it as soon as i possibly can and for those that have sent them in before thank you i greatly appreciate it it means you guys actually care about what i say and do here on the channel and you want to see me try some different things um and it does motivate me to keep wanting to make videos so it's a win-win for everybody you guys get more of the type of videos that you want to see me do here on the channel and I keep making them, and the gravy train keeps rolling, as they say. Um, I am, uh, today is Sunday. Uh, I will be pretty much all caught up with the paid request by the end of this week. There's, of course, uh, some more that I have to get to, but I'm not as backed up as I was. Uh, so over the next couple of days here, you will be seeing a lot of paid requests coming. And like I said, by the end of the week, I will be all caught up on that and I can start moving on to some other things. So if you have sent one in, uh, just please be a little bit more patient. It is on the way. And if you plan on sending one in, go for it. Again, just please be patient because they are coming. So thank you. But Hitman, again, aka uh, Contract Killer. Now I did watch the American cut because I could not find the Hong Kong version on the internet. So I did watch the Contract Killer uh, cut of the film, but I actually liked that version. Um, you know, I don't know again what the differences are between the Hong Kong version and the American cut, besides the music, because I know the American version they added like all these hip hop and rock, you know, instrumental stuff in there, which I was okay with. But other than that, I don't know what the differences are, but that's okay. But I again, I was very pleasantly surprised by this film. I thought it was going to be Jet Li just being a hitman, going around killing everybody, shooting everybody like, you know, the killer or something. But no, this movie actually did a little bit more than that and went a little bit deeper and had a bunch of different things going for it, which, again, I thoroughly enjoyed. So the plot of the film is there is a former Yakuza leader that gets killed. And before he died, one of his uh, wishes was that if something were to happen to him, he created this revenge fund where he put all this money into this fund. And if he was to get killed or whatever, that money would go to the person that found out who his killer was and got rid of them. So all these hitmen and assassins and all these different people come together to try and get this reward where Jet Li's character comes in. He's a guy that's part of this small gang. He was in the military. He's kind of down on his luck. He wants to do something good for his mom. And he goes to find out about this gig, and he gets suckered in by this other character who's played by Eric Sang. Uh, Eric Sang worked with uh, Jackie Chan. He worked with Sammo Hung. Um, he's been around Hong Kong film for a very long time. And his character is a con artist and tries to basically 
get Jet Li, take advantage of Jet Li's character to get him to find out who the killer is so he can get the money. And then also there is a cop who's played by Simon, or yeah, uh, Simon Yam, who again, um, another very big Hong Kong star, worked with Chow Yun Fat in Full Contact and all these other big movies. He was in Bullet in the Head. Uh, he worked with Jackie Chan as well. I remember him mostly from Wake of Death. He was the villain in the Jean Claude Van Damme film Wake of Death, which he was great in that. But again, also, huge name in Hong Kong cinema. And he plays this cop who is trying to solve the case as well. And as the movie goes on, you find out that uh, Eric Sang's character made a deal with this older guy who had all this money and he wanted to get revenge because his family got murdered during a war. And you find out that the guy that murdered his family was the Yakuza leader. And Eric Sang kind of manipulated this old guy into giving him all the money in case something were to happen to the to the villain, which it did. So now he has the money and everybody wants to go after him to not only get the reward, but get the money that they found out that this guy had. And then you find out that Simon Yam's character, who's the cop, is actually a vigilante and he's the one that took out the bad guy. So now he wants a piece of the reward as well. And Jet Li starts to realize what's going on and now he is going to rise to the top and be the new uh king of the killers like in the film but that's pretty much the plot but again i really enjoyed this like i said i was expecting more of like a, a john woo the killer type of movie but that actually has a lot more going for it than that um i've always been a huge fan of jet lee have i seen every single movie that he's done no, I have not, this movie included. But I'm glad that I, you know, got this paid request because it's like, cool, now I can kind of move that movie up the list a little bit to check it out because it was a paid request. So, hey, you know, again, thank you, as always, for the paid request. But um, I always remembered seeing this, like, at in Walmart when I was a kid. It was always in the $5 bin. I don't know why I never grabbed it. Um... But, hey, you know, better late than never, as they say. But I really like Jet Li's character in this film. He's more of just kind of a simple kind of guy. He's not, you know, um, it, the Fist of Legend type of character or the one, you know, if you want to get more into his American films. Um, he's not that type of character in this movie. He's just, you know, a guy who's kind of down on his luck a little bit. And he just wants to do the right thing for his mom buy his mom a nice house so he kind of falls in with these people and they don't think much of him they take advantage of him eric sang's character takes advantage of him but at the end of the day it all kind of works out and simon yam did great again i've always been a fan of his work um it was nice to see him play a good guy for a change because a lot of times he will play a villain but it was nice that they switch gears on that a little bit I really like the action scenes. Um, there's a pretty cool little action scene at a carnival um, where Jet Li is tasked to kill this small-time gangster. His buddies show up. They want a piece of the pie, and Jet Li kind of has to, you know, do something about that. There's one action scene where this assassin's dressed up as a priest, and Jet Li fights him, and he's got these grenades. That was pretty cool. The bodyguard for the villain has, like, these rings. And they like reflect in the light and screw Jet Li's eyes up. So that was cool stuff. The ending, it's this big shootout and fight in a penthouse, which was cool. Um, and again, this movie has a nice blend of the traditional martial arts stuff that Jet Li does and the gunplay. So it really worked both in there, which was cool. Um, you know, and it, it was very solid. This was a very solid movie. I really enjoyed it. Again, there was a nice blend of action, a little bit of comedy. Um, you know, Jet Li kind of played a little bit against type, which was nice. Um, there's one scene where he's trying on clothes and he dresses up like Chow Yun-Fat from A Better Tomorrow. That was really cool. I, I, I dug that. I definitely got a chuckle out of that. And... Yeah, you know, again, this is a, this is another jet. This is a Jet Li film. If I could get my words out right, this is definitely a Jet Li film that I will add to my collection and watch more. 
Um, again, there is the Contract Killer Cut, which is the version here in America. I'm sure you can find that pretty cheaply on DVD. It is available on YouTube for free from YouTube, so it's one of their free movies on here. Of course, it has commercials, but hey, it is what it is. Um, and Hong Kong Legends actually put this one out on DVD, so I definitely will pick up that version. I will definitely grab the Hong Kong Legends version, add it to the collection, and watch this more often. Again, I really like this film. I thought it was a, a very nice surprise. Not what I was expecting, but good. Very good in that way. And hey, more Jet Li. You know, can't go wrong with Jet Li, in my opinion. But anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed my review of Hitman, a.k.a. Contract Killer. And next up, the other Hong Kong action film that you'll want me to review is one that I, another one that I had never seen before. But it is Black Sheep Affair with Vincent Xiao. It was released here in America. Oddly enough, as another Meltdown, the sequel to the Jet Li film, even though they're not connected in the slightest. Uh, but until then, as always, thank you guys for watching. Take care, and we will talk soon. See you.